Hey there everybody, this is Chuck Wilson, and today I want to show you something really cool. I haven't been able to figure this out for a while, and thanks to uh, Mo Cappy and reading some other stuff, I figured it out. Now I want to share it with you, and also I want to be able to have this, so if I ever forget how I got this, because I can't even find no videos on YouTube. So, what we're going to do is, you can see here, if you know anything about Motion Builder, my character, the Unreal 4 character, is in a T-pose, and you can tell he's defined. He's been characterized. If you don't know what this means, you'll have to go look at other videos. But, uh, it basically means that I can slap a control rig on this guy, and we can start animating real quick. But, that's all cool and all, but what happens if I want to bring another character in? Well, if I bring another character in, I just got, here's another copy of Motion Builder, and we're going to go File, Open. And this is a guy that I bought at the Marketplace. And it just don't matter anyhow, but whatever. So here he is. And you notice right away, he's in an A pose, not a T pose. A pose, because people had to skin and deform him. They had to skin... Skinny menu, it's, it's, you get a better result in this situation than in a T-pose. But anyhow, so, we, we want, if you notice over here, we don't have that definition box. See here, this is not there. So, to get this going right away, we need to come down in here and grab this node and just drag and drop it in the scene. As soon as you do, you get this nice control box here, character controls, and we have nothing lit up. That's because none of the joints are defined, and that's what I want to show. So, we need to save a skeleton, and that's going to be off this guy. And Now, this is only going to work if your skeletons are named exactly the same, and they're really close. I believe that you could add actually more joints to the hierarchy as long as you didn't change the hierarchy name convention the way it is. Like you can, you know, as long as you add to it. But anyhow, that's getting advanced. Any, let's just do this. And so we need to pick a joint or a bone, whatever. Come up here. Want to go save skeleton definition. And. What we want to do is tell them template name is template. That's the name. So we're just going to name it Unreal. The example bone. I don't know why they named it example bone. The example bone should have been named first bone in your joints or in your hierarchy. You know, the example bone displays the name of the first valid bone in the current character hierarchy. So... And sometimes it just randomly picks whatever. I got lucky here. It picked the root bone for me. But sometimes it'll pick the head or something. And that's definitely not at the beginning. So make sure you're on your your first or your parent of all your bones. Prefix. Hmm. This kind of is sidetracks you. The prefix is... Pretty much you enter any prefix string that you want to remove from the beginning of all bone names to be added in the template. This is useful if the bone names for the current character included a standard prefix meant to identify the specific character. So in other words, we could, if we had namespaces in here, we could use the namespace here. But it adds to complication. We're trying to learn something simple. So we're not going to deal with that right now. So just delete. You don't want anything there. Alright. Hit the OK button. Let's go out of here. Go back to the character that doesn't... There's no names. It doesn't know a thing. Everything's empty. And normally you'd have to drag, drop, back, forth, all that stuff. But, so what we're going to do is you have to actually select all the bones or joints you want to define. So, 
Control W. We want to go in here and we want to select all these. And the easiest way to do that is grab your skeleton selection mask and just drag over all this. And that's only going to pick your joints or your bones. Then we want to come up here to load skeleton definition. And in here, we want to make sure you pick the, the template we named. And we want to match only selected bones, and we want to delete that. Now, when we hit OK, you will notice that it, it defined all our bones. And if you read this message here, it just says the right arm doesn't seem to be parallel to the x-axis which means our character is not in a t-pose so he needs to go in a t-pose and then that would go away and i don't know i guess i can show you real quick here what we want to do so you want to go through here make sure that you are set to world up here I don't know why it's not letting me pick world. Hmm. Well, there we go. Okay, yeah, you want to be in global. So make sure you're in global to do this. And then you're, you, got, you want to basically zero these out. But I can tell you already, this is negative 90. Oops. That's right. That doesn't work. Negative 90 there. And then these are all going to be zero. I'll try to do this as fast as possible. Then we'll go to the next bone. And this is negative 90 again. Negative 90. Zero. Zero. And then this bone. Same thing. Negative 90. Zero zero and I know that you could I could select them all and do it all at one time but I'm trying to keep things simple 90 oops my number pad does not work and zero and zero And once I get this last one, it's going to, sorry about the phone call, it will, see, now they're all green. And that means that we did everything right. That means our, we can now characterize this guy. We can easily go up here, hit the lock button, say biped. And then now we can go on here and say control rig and say FKIK and make sure your selection's right there. And we can grab this stuff here and we got full control. We can start animating just that fast. I mean, that is just amazing. Full, you got control over everything. So, yep, yeah, there it is. Well, alrighty, I hope this helps somebody, and if you got any questions, post them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time.